So now we want to go to Fox 4's Alex Boyer, who is in downtown Dallas, and there is some traffic moving there behind you, Alex. Yeah, there is, Heather, but thankfully that traffic is few and far between and the cars are going relatively slow, which is exactly what uh, officials are asking of folks who decide they need uh, to venture out. Uh, we are standing here at the edge of the design district in Dallas, and as you mentioned behind me there uh, is Interstate 35. Again, a slow go of it. Uh, earlier today, we were up in the Frisco area. A lot of the same as we've seen all across the area here. Lots of ice and some snow. On the surface, a picturesque scene playing out in the city of Frisco Thursday. Neighborhoods turned into a winter wonderland overnight as sleet and then snow descended on the area. The sidewalks and streets turned white nearby. They just wanna play. Kids taking advantage of the snow day to take part in a rare Texas activity, sledding. Using laundry baskets to zip down the hill. We're sledding, We're sledding in the winter, oh. I guess. It's, I think it's February. Well, that's still winter. Yeah. Oh. Their favorite part? Um, Maybe so when you crash into the water at the end. And also sometimes we fall in the really yeah. yeah. Like when you fall off the sled when you're going. But it wasn't all fun and games. Some residents, like this woman, forced to venture out in the bitter cold in order to give her dog a much-needed bathroom break. The ice weighed down several trees. Some branches and limbs snapped in half. The driver of this car was no match for the icy roads, ending up on top of a median. A buddy with a heavy-duty truck tried to pull him out, but the rope didn't hold. And eventually that guy was able to get out. Now I checked with uh, police and fire in Frisco this afternoon. Thankfully, no major problems uh, to report in that city. As a matter of fact, the city workers were able to get outside today and shovel the entrances to all of the city buildings uh, able to reopen for business whenever that is.